Coming up, I'm going to show you how to do competitive analysis for your app. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is your boy, Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. I think I might have gone too close to the camera, but this is the YouTube channel and company where we help you grow your app downloads and your revenues. And today, I really wanted to create this video to help you do competitive analysis because I feel like it's so important. One, to see if you're undercharging, and two, to see if you are actually overcharging. We had one client where he actually decreased his subscription plans and he saw an increase in revenues and conversions. So by putting this into a template, you're able to see the competitive landscape to see which direction you should be headed. All right, let's get to it. Here's the handy dandy spreadsheet. Don't ask me for this file. It is all within the App Masters Academy. So it will be linked up into the App Masters Academy, but shoot, you can recreate it easily. Don't ask me for this template, all right? First and foremost. So here's what we're gonna do. We have the app name, the app link or the app ID, the date it was launched, monthly downloads, monthly revenue, and then the US. We had one client who's doing well internationally too. I won't say which country it is, but you can put other countries in there. So that's why I put US price and model and subscription, all right? So what we wanna do is really look through your competitors. Now you should know them, right? For me, I really wanted to look at what was ranking well for my main term, it's background noise. So I put better sleep, they're doing well. So I'm gonna go into sensor tower right now and I'm on the free plan, just so you know. And I've pulled up their data right here. So you can just search for better sleep right here and then you can do that. Or you can just put in their app ID and figure that out. So I'm gonna put in better sleep and I'm just gonna fill out this document so to get a sense of what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. This is the view app store. So I'm getting their link and I'm pasting it here. Within sensor tower, I can see date launched. Cool, put that monthly downloads and sensor tower has that 100,000, 300. So I'm gonna put 100,000, 300,000. Good job, guys. I can even see within sensor tower where better sleep is advertising. So they're doing some Facebook. I can actually see their video as well. Check that out. And then what I wanna see, and this is the most important part, is the top in-app purchases. So Apple actually does us a huge favor and has the best performing in-app purchase up front and center, so the top. So this is what most people are buying. The downside is they actually have all the in-app purchases that you've ever had listed to. So with better sleep, you can see lifetime access. Maybe they tried this a long time ago. Maybe they have it going on right now. They have a lifetime access of just 20 bucks and then they've tested different annual subscription prices, right? Here's better sleep annual, it's that $60. So all that is listed in there for you. So you can kind of get a sense of how your competitors are monetizing, all right? This is just one app. I'll just go through a few more. Endel, I really like them, this app. And I put them in here because they do more like focus music type of stuff, all right? I know about them a little bit, so I'm gonna put them. Let's see when they've launched. And I like the launch date because what you can then see is, hey, did they just recently launch or have they been in the app stores for a very long time? And you can see Better Sleep's been around since 2009. And so you can see, that, yeah, that makes sense. That's why they're probably making, they have some old revenues coming in. So Endel, 80,200, wow. So that's pretty impressive, right? And they just launched four years ago, so not too bad. They're advertising on Instagram right here. And let's take a look at their pricing structure. Boom. So, so far I'm pretty underpriced. I've only been charging 20 bucks a year. Lifetime, I have a $30, but these guys are charging $60 a year, $60 a year. So, hey, their apps are probably way better than mine, but heck. So I picked this app out because they rank really, they were number one for white noise gonna copy this let's see when they launched 2006 revenue numbers according to sensor tower we got 70,000 100,000 Woo! big numbers baby and let's put in their plants Okay, 
I'll do one last app right here. This app ranks really well for pink noise. So I'm going to put this in here. That's why I did that. All right. So here's what I've done. Here's the complete spreadsheet. You can add a bunch more, but here are the critical columns that you want to see. The monthly downloads, monthly revenues, and then the US or any other country pricing models if there's different. All right. Here's the competitive landscape for my app, right? I launched in 2021. Here's my pricing. Now I'm able to compare quickly that I am way underpriced besides this app, but this app, Sensor Tower doesn't report anything above 5,000. So this app is pretty tiny. It did launch quite a bit ago. It ranks really well for pink noise, which I know that has some volume from a traffic perspective, but they've been testing out a bunch of different lifetime offers and they're not doing well. So I'm going to throw that app out for a little bit, but I wanted to add it in just so you guys know it's less than 5,000 and Sensor Tower will only report up to more than 5,000. But look at these apps that are doing really well. And I also want to try to find is, just for my sake, an app that recently launched. Now, that's harder to do, but as you go into the app stores, look at look for an app that has just recently launched to help you kind of gauge if they're doing really well. Here, when I'm analyzing this, I'm going to be testing to see if I can charge actually a little bit more than 20 bucks that I'm doing, right? Now, I, full disclosure, I'm like, oh, I could probably improve the noises and all that stuff within the app, but I know it is monetizing. I'm running actually some search ads for this app, and I know it can monetize better and drive more growth. But judging from what I'm seeing, I can actually increase prices for this. So here, this gives you a clear landscape on what you should be doing next. And for some of our clients, we've seen that they're overpriced, and that's why their conversions suck. So what you really want to do and in an upcoming video, we're going to do this too, is look at your conversion rates. And when I say conversions, it's that trial conversion. And we know trials work. So definitely have trials, but it's that trial conversion. And then overall from trial to actual subscription. So we want to look at those numbers in detail. And then if we're trial conversion is at least at 5%, we're doing well. If it's underneath, it might be because we have a pricing problem, right? And that's what we saw with one of our clients where we saw a really low conversion rate, even though we have all the best practices of what a good high converting pricing page should look like, but a really low conversion rate. So when I looked at the details and, I, and when I put this competitive analysis together, I'm able to see, hey man, all your competitors are charging almost 60% less than what you're charging, right? almost half of what you're charging. And so we're going to test a lower pricing point to see if we can do better from a conversion rate and obviously more on the revenue side of things. Now you can do this for web apps right? Or web services. You can do this for any type of service that you want to do. And it's so important to see how your competitors are charging, what they're doing. There's some other tools that you can use if you're trying to gauge web traffic, but it gives you a sense of how well you should be pricing. And if your conversion rates are too low, think about whether there's a pricing issue. And if it's really high, think about if you can charge a little bit more. See what happens there, right? You never know unless you try. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Again, if you want this template, go join our App Masters Academy, appmastersacademy.com. You'll get access to this template, but it's so easy that you can recreate this by yourself if you really wanted to. But if you're lazy like me and you wanted this template, it is at appmastersacademy.com. And if you're interested in working with us, go check out appmasters.com. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, what the hell are you waiting for? hit that subscribe button. We want to get those numbers up. I'm told that I have to keep reminding people to subscribe. That's the only way we're going to get those numbers up. So I will do that. All right. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we go live every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Join us live where we break down what's working in the app space and take a look at your apps. All right. Until next time, that's it. That's all the plugs. I'll see you on the next video.